You know what's pretty dope, man? The sun's coming up earlier now. So it's 642. Oh my god, I think there was a dead skunk. Damn, that skunk was strong. I actually like the way that I said, I don't even know what I just said. I usually like the way skunks smell. Cause it smells like weed. I don't smoke weed, but I like the way weed smells. But that was a strong ass skunk. Woo! But anyways, um, I'm really happy because uh, you know I usually I wake up pretty early in the mornings to go train, and it's usually dark still. But I think it's starting to become um, not daylight savings, but you know how like we in America we try to do that whole daylight savings thing to maximize the amount of sun that's in the day. So it actually looks like 7:30 or maybe even 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. right now. But it's only 6:43. I love it. I love it. I love it. I might even have to start waking up earlier now just so I can get that dark feeling. Because there's just something about waking up when it's still dark where you feel like you got a jump start on the world. You're like, hell yeah. I got a jump start on the world, getting, getting putting them to work before everyone else does. I gotta turn this thing now, this might be kind of loud. Okay. Oh, but it is hella cold though. I got my seat warmer on, which is pretty tight. I know y'all like, man, this motherfucker bougie. Well, uh, before I would look at cars and I'd be like, why the fuck do I need a seat warmer? That's some pussy ass shit. But once I started waking up hella early and when it got cold and I put those things on and it warms up my hamstrings and when I'm ready to squat, I'm ready to squat. I'm like, damn, I think every car needs it. <laughs> so now I'm, a, I'm used to the good life and, uh, I think every car I get, I'm gonna get a sea warmer from now on. Damn it, I keep forgetting to do something. So, um, you know, I got my car back and then I got it detailed. I guess, like, when I get my car detailed, sometimes they leave it on or something. And I think all the settings get reset. So, when I was trying to leave our office, which there's this big old gate. Um, I used my button thing, right? My garage door program opener or whatever. But it didn't work. I was like, oh no, how am I gonna get out of here? I don't wanna be locked in because our, our uh, building has like this gate and it only opens from both sides by buttons. So I borrowed Brandon's garage door and I left. But now I gotta return this to him today and I forgot to just program it real quick. But now I'm down here. So I think I gotta go back up and program my keys. Um, but I also have to go take a shower because I'm drenched. I have to start work soon man you know like I told myself when I got it, does this ever happen to you guys I told myself when I got it from Brandon I'm gonna program the keys before I go home and then I forget to do it and I'm like no I'm not gonna give it back maybe I'll borrow one more day but I'm pretty sure if I, even if I borrow one more day I'm still not gonna remember oh every week I have one meeting with this gargoyle and uh this gargoyle is hideous but also makes me happy to uh wait are you admitting that you're the gargoyle because i didn't even tell anybody who it was damn it i didn't even hear what you said i was saying every week i look forward to meeting with the gargoyle oh, and the gargoyle, not here. the gargoyle is really hideous she's not here today but i said the gargoyle does make me smile oh well i'll take that what are you looking at on your computer? Can I zoom into it? Do you have personal information? No, go ahead. Zoom! It's actually work. Liar, what are you working on? Events. I'm trying to find uh, important events to go to. That'll... What do you have? What are you, what are you thinking about? What events do you think Barbell should be at? Well, I'm looking at actually CrossFit. Why CrossFit? Why not powerlifting? thing? Uh, Why well, not LGBT events? Why not LGBT events? Why not homeless shelter? Dang. Why, why not? Hmm? That's actually all up in here. What about Asian support? What about women's empowerment? We do have women's empowerment. Are you saying you hate black people? Yes. Oh, <gasps> the gargoyle has spoken. <laughs> what do you have against the LGBT community? Nothing. They're prettier than me. Well, that's for sure. <laughs> all right, cool. I'm going to take a shower before this gargoyle wastes my time some more. You guys want to see some sneak peek stuff that we're dropping in March? Um, so this is what we've released this year so far in Barber Boogie. We have this collection that you guys saw in January. Right, we had joggers, fleece shorts and all that. 
This is what we dropped in February. All that. This one is uh, the pre-order that you guys ordered in December. It's made being made for you in your size. And then for March, we got a collab going on with Hey Brand. Super excited about this because me and Matt Vincent were buddies and we have apparel companies and it's cool to finally collaborate with someone and build something together so the whole theme behind that is rising tides raises all ships which means like in an industry where it feels like a lot of companies are competing against each other all the time we're like no actually when we team up it's actually better for the industry why can't we be friends and bring uh, each other up together so uh, that's what the whole campaign slogan's about and we're gonna be filming on a boat and it's gonna be the first time we shot a campaign on a boat I think it's gonna be so so cool can't wait to shoot that the only thing is we all got to take like motion sickness pills because I'm running the same boat that I went scuba diving on and that thing rocks like a motherfucker so if uh, so even people that don't get seasick uh, people have thrown up there so that's the only thing and hopefully the photographers can still have steady hands while that boat is shaking around. Now I'm getting ready to do our movie meeting. Lots of productive things today, a lot of things going on. But uh, I really hope we get our movie done this year. We finished the script, but that's just version one. And kind of like school, you gotta do a rough draft, and another rough draft, another one, and finally do the final draft. So hopefully in a couple more meetings, we'll have a final draft. Then we can start figuring out how much it's gonna cost for sure. Start producing it and film it. Working on our script right now. Here's a little sneak peek of it. Can I give them any information? Oh, don't give them the monkey scene. It's a movie. Uh-huh. No monkey scene, I won't tell them that. Yeah, don't tell them about the monkey and the banana and the two hands that go like this. Okay. Yeah, and, no. then, the, and then the monkey and the banana that, that does this one. No, and don't show, them, don't show them the scene where the monkey is doing like that with yeah. his butt. No. <laughs> don't do that. Don't That's show them, just don't tell them about that part. Okay, we won't. Any other things we should keep away? Um, there's a really hot one with, uh, Josh and, 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 and yeah. Don't say it. Okay. Five monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> so what's, what, what, seriously though, what, what stage in the script are you right now? You finished writing it. Uh, no, 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 no. We did not finish writing it. It's our first rough draft. We wrote the first rough draft, yeah. yeah. That's, that's not even close to being done. Yeah, we got a lot of work. Yeah, more us. Asian than we are. <laughs> I'm not proud of you yet. And I might not ever be. <gasps> You're never very proud of me? No. Oh, that's the most Asian thing but, I've but ever heard. But in so doing that, <laughs> yeah. I have given you so much. You have. So much fuel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, I'm actually, I'm happy about this, man. I think we're in a, right? Don't you feel good? I think I like this one a lot. Yeah, I like yeah. this one. the best one so far? It's I think so. I, I think it's true. the um, c clearest one so far. Yeah. Like intention wise and character motivation wise and everything's pretty like there. And it's cheap. It's cheap as well. Most important is we can do it ourselves. We can do it ourselves. It's on iPhone. I wouldn't mind if the lighting was good. That's all that really matters. I don't think. I know the iPhones are looking incredible. Have you seen iPhone made movies? Are pretty good. It's amazing. If you light it well, you could do pretty good. I'm into that. You can also shoot on iPhone audio too. Yes. Oh shit. All the way. We could also shoot it on like a Black Magic, which is like 800 bucks. That's true. And they look good. No one uses black magic though. Ding, ding. Yeah, they do. I'd rather an iPhone. All the indies do. Magic. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about it, Bart? I'm really proud of it. Yeah. And I think it's the, just the concept. So for me, a movie, if the concept alone is funny, yeah. I think it's really easy to improv and freestyle other funny things because the concept already is already funny. That's yes, right. And I think we have it. I think we have something really. I love those ideas when they're really unique and original, and it makes people go, "Fuck! Why didn't I think of it?" Yeah. And I think we have some there. And I, I also love having the word Asian in the title. Because I think that's <laughs> We don't have Asian title there. What are you talking about? Yeah, our movie's called Home Invasion. And it's Invasion is spelled I-N-V-A-Z-N. See? Are you happy about that case? He's very, he's thrilled. Look at his face. IMDB credit, Home Invasion. Directed by. Directed by. How could he not sleep at night? He'll sleep yeah. like a baby. He'll sleep like a little baby boy. You know it's gonna win an Oscar. Look how happy he is for about home it. Home invasion. Yep. It's gonna win an Oscar. <laughs> you know what I love? Sorry, it might be too dark. I love when I come home and Mobber does this for me. 
I see little Tiger and Tiger. Tiger, are you excited to see me? Tiger! <laughs> he started crawling way so early on the sidewalk. Oh, my cutie family, Tiger! Hey, you're so cutie. Look at your big face. You're big cutie. He just took a shower, so. Come on, we're back inside. You love me so much, huh? Yeah, let's go inside. Oh, that felt so good. It was such a warm reception. That's so awesome. I had such a long meeting and then my brain's all tired and when I come home I just want to see my family and I see Taika, Gio and the puppies. That was so awesome. Gio's such an awesome wife. That's, oh, that just made me feel so good. All right, I'm going to go inside now before the neighbors see me vlog and go, what the hell is that weird guy doing with the camera? Because you do look pretty dumb when you bust out a camera in public because most people don't understand what the hell's happening. They're just like, that guy's weird. He's talking to himself. I'm going to go inside. What in the world is going on? Is that a rainbow caterpillar? You can't see us. Okay. Donde esta Taika? Donde esta Taika? Donde esta Taika? Hi, how are you? Taika. Oh, he's coming out this end. <laughs> oh, the caterpillar came out. Donde esta Taika? Dile hi, Dad! Taika. Hi, Taika! Give me a big kiss. Give me a big kiss. Give me a big kiss. Oh, he's coming up. This is how he comes up. Oh, this guy. Give me a big hug. Oh, he's hugging himself. That's what I did. Give me a big hug. Give me a big kiss. You smell so good. Oh, yeah, he just got a bath. Big cuny. That's cuny. Oh, so you're wearing my pants again? Yeah, your mom keeps putting your pants in my section. They don't look bad. Oh, it's because I stretched them out, but they're, oh, they're pretty man. tight. Look, look at it. Well, if you just wash it, I'm sorry. But if you wash it, it it'll be okay. Yeah, my mom didn't know that we have the same pants. Oh, uh, different sizes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's cute. When did you order this yesterday? No, I picked it up today at Walmart. Oh. I didn't know Walmart was so cool. Really? It has a lot of cool stuff? Yeah, but at least the Walmart right by our house is really clean. Oh, and awesome. I like it. It has everything you can think of. Yeah, they have like, uh, you can just buy trash cans, paint, Everything, oil. everything. I can't believe I've like been missing out for so long. Just, I think it's because of people of Walmart. Yeah. It's because of Joe. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> I had to get rid of that whoa, speaker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because he's unplugging it? Is that okay to play with the cord? No, it's never okay for him to play with the cord. Don't play with the cord. Come here. Come here. Oh my god, like every time you bend over, I say, hear my pants cry. Really? Ah! Hey, my hey, butt hey. definitely doesn't look like that, I don't know. Huh? My butt definitely doesn't look like that. Really what? It looks good. Oh, does it? <laughs> hey, you're gonna destroy my home theater system. I'm gonna watch Game of Thrones. Yeah, we need to got that speaker though. <laughs> Doing any more flips in there. Oh, that's why he took it out. Yeah. I see. A little flip risky. I think he's finding his own way to do another flip. Whoa, you're gonna fall down. He doesn't give a shit. He uses that now to stand out. And he's going side to side and he's going. Are you gonna use that to do flip? Oh, I saw you clear out the whole bookshelf. That's smart. This guy's crazy. You're freaking crazy, Taika. Are you climbing? <laughs> this guy's nuts. Yeah, I think we need to get. Oh we my! To we gotta get a jungle gym. I think I think we need to move ASAP and build a jungle gym in the living room that's padded. I looked at all the. I was on all the toddler toy sections, yeah. and I was like, these games are too dumb for him. Yeah, he's like smart. it was just like the ones, the little donuts that you stack up. I'm like, really? Like he he's gonna figure that out in like five seconds. Yeah. Like this, he already figured it out. This is one of the toddler toys. Hey, let me send the pelotas. So basically, they stand, they sit here. Yeah. Here, he'll show you how it's done. Toma, take up. This guy is, I think, trying to rewire the house. That's how smart he is. He's pretty smart. Here. Toma. Enseñale, papá. I like to aquí. Look. <laughs> there, he figured it out. <laughs> oh, shoot. Damn, that's, that's, that's <laughs> it. Knows. So why do I give him toddler toys? It's like, that's it. Now he knows what to do. Hey, why are you so smart? My mom told him what to do once, and he was like, oh, bing, bing, bing. My mom's like, she's like, fuck. We gotta buy more toys. for his little brother or sister. If he's not as smart, he's gonna get swindled by Taika. 
Yeah, yeah this kid was like, bing, bing, bing. Dang. Why are those little balls? <laughs> he loves climbing. I yeah. I think his little balls in his diaper, aren't they? <laughs> Good job, Taika. You little judge. You could be a judge. Little gal. <laughs> you need Good job. Damn, yeah. Smart. How, how long do you think he can play this before he starts climbing shit again? I don't know. He might be over already. Now he's trying to see how much he could withstand. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, he's really smart. Now my next thing will be teaching him like the color, like to put it. Like this one goes here with the yellow. Yeah. So give us a week. <laughs> yeah. We'll figure that out. He's fucking smart. I'm a smart guy. So I post made it some food. Anytime I have a long, long meeting, I'm doing a lot of talking. My throat gets kind of hoarse, and uh, I just feel so drained. So I like soul food. So I got some caldo again, which is uh, Mexican soup, and I also got some with some hard shell tacos. So I just saw it on the menu, and I was like, hell yeah, better order that. <laughs> Thank you. Look how happy this guy's. Thank you. Thank you, big happy dude. Thank you. So, um, yeah, I ordered some hard shell tacos to see what these look like. Oh, damn, these look good. What's cool is uh, I just realized that for lunch, Ma Bear and Taika had Chinese food because my dad brought it over. And I think I'm about to eat exactly what Taika's nationality is. I'm about to eat some Mexican. Chinese food. Oh yeah, what is that? Fried shrimp or something? Hell yeah, fried fish. Hell yeah. Ooh. Oh, it's too much carbs though. But I'll have this stuff. Mexican Chinese food. That is how Taika was made. Just locked it down down here. Notice how peaceful it is when Taika's asleep. There is no chaos to be found. No, it's Even the dogs are just... They can sleep in the bed. Calm. They never sleep. This beetle is always... He's gone. I know, because he's like, I don't want to get terrorized. <laughs> but now he gets to sleep. I don't want shit quiet. in my ears or someone poke my eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Now I'm just cleaning up and uh, I'm going to spend some quality time with Mama Bear Potato. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, guys.